Okay, so as you can see, I kind of, I just have a variety of sketches, you know, just, these are just wide, wide um, design explorations. And with these, and putting this on a multiply layer, and using the layer underneath to create just really basic silhouettes. So whether you're doing a character design, creature design, um, you know, this, you can do the same exact process where you have a loose sketch to start off with, and you can actually create a silhouette around that sketch and you can use that as, as just a, a base mask so you can paint freely without having to worry about going outside of the edges. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I have, I'm sure you guys are looking at this and saying like, what the hell man, there's just a bunch of different gears and um, how does this actually apply? Well, this, I'm using this as just a way to generate textures within my silhouette. So if I have this photo image, I can then link it in to my silhouette. It seems like I just wanted to add in some kind of forklift element here. Um, you can actually use what you have and duplicate it. It's a quick way of just kind of getting a little bit of that. <sighs> Character time. So I have this character in mind. Now I'm actually gonna do a loose sketch, similar to the process I showed you for speed painting. This would be me if I gained 30 more pounds. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I, I you know, had those photos from earlier. Boom, drop it in. <coughs> Done. <laughs> Uh, all right, so just kind of refining the edges and stuff, or the design bits. And this is where you can actually do another adjustments on top and using the curves. And you, you see how it's kind of going more white? You can actually choose to affect the light source. You can choose it more red. You can choose to make it more red or blue. Or if you want just kind of a yellow, you can mix the colors in, give it that little red and blue tone. Okay, I'm almost I'm almost done here. Looks like I'm wrapping up a little bit quicker. No, but basically at this phase, you know, like w what I was rendering before, whether it's a mech or a creature or a character or a prop, um, a lot of the similar principles do apply. Um, you know, and I just want to show you guys various techniques to kind of get to a point where you can actually you know, do your refinements. Um, again, there is no right or wrong method of painting or going about your illustration. Um, again, these are all just these are all just various techniques, um, and they can be used in any manner or fashion as you please.